Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm going to be doing something that I normally do behind the scenes, but today you're going to get to watch. Um, it's just going to be a short video and what I'm going to be doing is upgrading one of my jigs, my, my L fence or replicating fence. And I'm going to be adding some high impact plastic to it, uh, often referred to as bulletproof plastic. So let's get started. <laughs> So quite a few number of months ago, I remade a jig that I'd been using before that I'd forgotten about. Uh, and it's the new name for it is called an L fence. Uh, we used to call it a duplicating fence. Uh, and it's for the table saw. And I've had a lot of people ask about it. I've shown it many times and it works so well. I Honestly, I seem to find a new use for it almost every day. And what I want to do, because the top of it, and I'll show you how it works at towards the end of the video when we get it finished, there's this wooden piece that sits on top and the saw blade sits underneath and you run wood through it. Uh, the problem is you can't see what's going on underneath because this is wood. And I think it would be really helpful for me and for people who want to look at this to be able to see what happens underneath here. So what I'm going to do I bought this sheet of this is bulletproof plastic and I just made a test cut on it to see what blade is the best and you can't do this with ordinary plastic it will snap look at that it's unbelievably strong stuff so I've never used this before and this is a little bit thicker it's about half an inch thick it cuts beautifully on the table saw so what I'm going to be doing is taking this off and attaching this and because we can't glue wood to plastic I'm gonna to have to use some mechanical fasting so that'll be easy I'm not going to show you every step uh, because I'm trying to make this quick so you'll get the idea of what's happening anyway so uh, first thing I need to do is take this off uh, and then go over to the table saw and we'll start off by cutting the Lexan Here you can see the difference that the 400 or the 320 grit made. I'm going to use some 600 now and uh, just take it down a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit of water on there and hopefully that will lubricate it as well. So just put a tiny bit on there like that and uh, let's see if that will polish that even a little bit more. Okay, so just to orient you to where I'm at here, um, this is going to go together like that. And I, as I said earlier, I, you can't glue plastic to wood, so I'm going to use mechanical fasteners, in this case screws, um, to attach that like that, and then to the base like that, or to the carcass like that. So what I need to do, first of all, I'm going to go over to the drill press, and I'm going to drill a series of small, um, countersunk uh, screw holes that I can attach that to the wood because that's the only um, real safe way and easy way of attaching those two together then when I do when I get finished with that what I'll do this will be attached like that then I can take that and glue and air nail that to the carcass here uh, let that glue sit for a while um, and it'll be good to go and that'll be it that'll, that's really all there is to it so first of all I have never drilled this so this is going to be interesting to see what that's like now I've never drilled this high impact plastic so it's going to be interesting to see what it's like but before I get started I want to let you know that I just received information that there's going to be a flash sale on these mag switches and I know a lot of you are interested in them um, it's going to be November 25, 26, 27 and 28 so it's four days only of the year 2021 because this video is going to be on for years later um, you can get 20% off of these um, using my affiliate link on this so if you're interested in making all sorts of jigs that can fit on a steel deck 
now's your time to go and have a look at these. And this is why I use this is because I can lock this down onto the table of the drill press. I can put it in any position. It's quick and easy. And I also use these, of course, for the L fence to lock that onto the table saw. So multiple uses for these little things uh, and something that I think you'll find some good use out of. So anyway, let's get started doing some drilling here. Um, but I'm just gonna, going to go along here and just do a series. I just have to move this along. It's all set up and do a series of holes. Uh, but I'm gonna, going to let you see the first one uh, so that we all see together what drilling into Lexan is going to be like. I don't expect it's going to be anything uh, too onerous. That's going to be just fine. So it really, um, nothing, nothing really much at all. Um, it drills into it very easily. Okay, I've been very careful to make sure that this wood is aligned perfectly with the plastic all the way along here. And there's the screw holes that I drilled. What I need to do now is to start putting some screws in, but I don't want this wood to split. So what I have to do there is at every place where I need to drive a screw in, I'm going to clamp that wood temporarily while I drive the screw in, and that will prevent that wood from cracking. So we'll do one, and then I'll do the rest of them off camera. There, yeah, that's going to be nice and tight. That's going to work well. And of course, the wood didn't crack. So, all right, I'll go along and do all the rest of them. Okay, I've clamped the carcass here in my vise. And what I want to do is put a bead of glue along because I'm going to glue the wood to the wood. I just need to spread that around a little bit. And then I'll do the same on here. Okay, that's all glued and it's all clamped. Now I'm going to go along and put some air nails in there. Then I can take those clamps off and that way I can carry on. Okay, that modification is all nice and dried up now. Just lock it to my fence. If your fence doesn't have a steel middle in it like this one, there's other ways of attaching these to your uh, to your fence. So, uh, what I've done, it's really firm. I'm, I'm amazed actually how strong this is. It's super strong in there. So, I have a piece of wood here, and this is a perfect example of what you, where you would use this. So, it's live edge on both sides, but one live edge, it's not very good. It's pretty vertical. You probably wouldn't use this. This one here has got, you can see it's got a bit more of an angle to it, but I can't run this through the table saw because it's not straight. So, here's the perfect way of using this. So, what we do, I'm going to lower the blade down. I just use my push stick as a marker, and what I do is move the L fence over and just drop it on top of the push stick just like that and that gives me the height move that out now the next thing I want to do is align the blade with the plastic and I, I, you, it's very hard to see where I'm at I can see it but where you're at <laughs> It's probably hard to see, but it, the blade is just barely on the inside of the plastic there. And now I'm going to be using my uh, straight edge. And I have somewhere here some anti-skid material. There it is. That's going to lay on there. And that holds that so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to eyeball it for right now. I just need to take a little skim of that off of there. Yeah. 
And there I have a perfect straight edge. Look at how straight that is. And the off cut, because there's no pressure between the fence and the blade, it, when it cuts off, it just lays there. It doesn't, doesn't shoot back. Sometimes a little bit of air will move it backwards, um, but that's all there is to it. Well, that concludes my video for today. Uh, and I am delighted with this adaption because now we can all see what's going on um, behind the fence here. It's a much safer to use. And every time I do one of these videos using mag switches, I get many, many questions on these. Um, so this time I've put a link. You'll be able to go there and see a lot of the detail that I did on using mag switches. And of course, there's an article on Woodwork Web where you can see all of this stuff in more detail. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.